Hello again everyone, I'm Lee Berger and for today's update on the 105 Expedition I'm just going to take you through what's happened over the last couple of days uh, that I haven't done an update. We first had a site meeting and that brought together several of the scientists, technicians and others that are going to be working in the site to look at a way forward and that's really looking at how we're going to map the site and then we're developing a strategy for actually entering the site because there's a dangerous entry to the site and putting an infrastructure for that as well as what we're going to do after we have that infrastructure in that is the removal of the first material so that's where we are right now there's a team in the field today that's Friday the 4th of September and they're looking at photogrammetry to add to LIDAR or a laser survey that we had done of the cave uh, several months ago in preparation for some future work that was going to occur at the site. We've also been continuing preparation. Um, Zandile has stopped preparation on the mandible because one of the teeth is hanging in space and we don't want it to fall out of its position. And so now it's prepared to a point that we will put it into a micro CT scanner that will allow us to look inside of the tooth and image the mandible virtually. Uh, Justin is still working on the block that seemed to have other hominid remains and I'm hopeful that by the end of today we'll actually see uh, one of the postcranial elements almost completely exposed to identify it. It does look like there's other hominid material in that block, other hominid postcranial material. Uh, Zandili has now started on a new block that she picked out during our site visit and it's got material in it as well. It's hard to tell whether that's hominid material or it's faunal material that is of other animals. We'll just have to wait till preparation continues. The rest of the team's busy preparing material from uh, Malapa of Australopithecus sediba, other hominid material, and there's some very exciting things I'll look at in the future. And the team is also down in the Lissetti chamber where we recovered a couple of weeks ago another hominid uh, vertebra that's likely another individual from that chamber, bringing the number to a likely four individuals in the Lissetti chamber. That's all for today. Keep following me on the Fossil Vault YouTube channel for the 105 Expedition.